Welcome to Women's Rugby 176 for October 14th through the 20th. Pools for the 2025 Rugby World Cup in England have been unveiled, with the full schedule set to be released tomorrow. Germany kicked off their European trophy campaign with a dominant win over Finland. Osino Nuapu made history as the first Pacifica female CEO of a New Zealand rugby provincial union taking the reins at North Otago. Off the field, Australian stars Charlotte Catholic and the Levi sisters hinted at a potential cross-code switch that could bolster the Walrus ahead of the Rugby World Cup and round up all the global premier and club competitions worldwide. I'm Wendy, here to bring you the latest in women's rugby. This is your Women's Rugby Rundown, and we're about to kick off. Let's start with 15's news, and the biggest news of the week has to be that we know the pools for the 2025 Rugby World Cup. Pool A sees hosts and current number one team in the world, England. They'll take on Australia, USA, and Samoa. Pool B, maybe one of two pools of death. We'll see Canada, the world's number two team, and they'll take on a fascinating challenge with wildcard Fiji alongside familiar Six Nation rivals Scotland and Wales. We'll see another possible pool of death. Reigning champions of the 2021 Rugby World Cup, New Zealand, headline it with a score to settle against Ireland against their recent WXV loss, but they'll face a determined Japan and Spain ready to make their mark. Pool D features a class of giants as France and Italy prepare for a fierce European showdown. We've seen that a lot of times, but they also face challenges through a reinvigorated South African Springbok side and debutantes Brazil eager to make their mark in the Rugby World Cup. The European trophy kicked off, and it was a six-try second half highlighted by captain Mete Zimat's hat-trick, powered Germany to a 44-10 comeback win over Finland. We've been wondering on social media with a lot of our friends if we would start to see more seven stars getting into squads ahead of the 2025 Rugby World Cup. Some have already done it, USA, Ireland, New Zealand, but it looks like the Walrus might be adding, and they may pick up three-time Olympian Charlotte Kasich along with Madison and Tegan Levi, who are absolute stars on the seven circuit. Ireland International Sini Nalapu has been appointed the CEO of North Otago Rugby. She's the first Pacifica female to lead a New Zealand rugby provincial union. Of course, she is a longtime Ireland international. She won the 2015 Women's Six Nations, been a sevens player, and played at the 27 Rugby World Cup as well. What a wonderful appointment. As we previewed last week, we've got a long slate of matches for the rest of the year. Of course, we'll have our second European trophy match between Finland and Latvia, and then the Elgin Cup gets kicked off. Asia 7s their last stop in Thailand, and then we'll see an interchange between Netherlands and Brazil. And then the 7 series will begin Dubai first, and then Cape Town after that. We'll switch over 7s news now. Brazil's Super 7s had their second stop, and Melina beat St. Joseph 19-0 and leads the series overall. Costa Blanca claimed the Kenya Safari 7 title on October 13th, edging out the Kenyan national team 24-10 in a thrilling final. Finally, let's take a look at our premier and club news. Wicklow and Railway Union kept their winning streaks alive at the top of the Nigeria AIL, securing crucial away victories against Antonians and Black Rock College. Ristorfen remains undefeated at the top of the Arnold Clark Premiership, while fourth place Watsonians took down a second place Sterling County, leaving three teams now tied at 32 points. ASM Iromia leads France's Elite One. They're undefeated alongside fellow undefeated teams Toulouse and Bordeaux. It was also announced that several of these matches will be broadcast on Canal Plus Sport, which we believe is a first for French women's rugby at this level. Ghent remains at the top of the Belgium Senior Ladies One. They're unbeaten alongside Vaux 4 after four rounds. Saracens and Exeter remain undefeated after three rounds of the PWR, but it's really tight. There are five teams that sit within a few points of each other. Saracens also announced that they are happy to host the PWR final on Sunday, March 16th, 2025. Club rugby is well underway in the United States, and we've made lots of updates to D1 and D2. Check it out on our site. WER has extended their player declaration period for a couple of days, but the really exciting news here is that we're going to learn the coaches, and we're going to learn them very soon. We're adding a new league to our competition recaps. Nigeria has launched a national league to promote rugby across its six geopolitical zones, starting with the Southwest League. Gosar leads Eco 2 and Nigeria Police after two rounds. That does it for us this week, and that's all the news we could fit in the video. Of course, there's always more on our site at ycrugby.com. And never miss an episode of Women's Rugby Rundown by subscribing on YouTube, Spotify, Patreon, or on any of your favorite social media platforms.